is our HD finishing powder for touch up. This is our number one selling product for high definition. It is terrific for matting out shine and also creating an airbrushed effect. So it comes in a compact with a sponge, just like your HD powder makeup. We recommend you punt the sponge or just keep it for emergencies, but you want to put it on with a cottontail brush. So you just load your brush and the best way to just load the brush so that you don't overload it is just pressing it right into the product. You just get a little bit on the brush and then you start with gentle circular pressing and twisting motions. That allows the product to really find that shine, grab it and mat it out completely. So you just Press and roll. I'm going to stop and reload and I'm going to come press and roll in here. You want to make sure that you get a really good um, application of this in the eye socket area. Right in the inner corner in this area and around the eyes tends to get really oily and it's hard to always get into and get a really good matte finish. So you want to take that cottontail brush and really get it in the socket. You don't have to press hard. Main thing is just make sure you get it all up in there and press and roll for a perfectly matte finish because again in high definition shine is a huge issue. If you're completely matte in person you're still going to have a sheen in HD which is one reason why you've got to stop and check yourself during commercial breaks and make sure that you have a nice matte finish so that it's not distracting during your broadcast. So you put this on and you press and roll and it also just gives a flawless look if if you're using airbrush foundation or if you're using our HD powder makeup this is the same touch-up powder that you use for both of those methods also there's just one color from the lightest skin to the darkest skin it's this one color here which is white people look at that and go eh, how is that gonna work its sole purpose is just to cut shine and that's one reason why you don't want to overload your brush because if you get too much on there and put it on yes it's going to look like you've been making biscuits but if you just get a little bit on there then it's perfect for cutting shine and this is something you can touch up with multiple times if you touch up with it if you're doing breaking news extended coverage you've touched up with it a number of times you feel like maybe you're getting a little bit pasty looking then you can come back in and warm your color back up with your HD powder makeup um, and then start using this again but it's a terrific product and a must-have for anyone in high-definition television